How's everybody doing? Great. <laughs> Where'd you all come from? Y'all, anyone from Norwood here? Westwood, Norwood, Westwood, Westwood, Canton. 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 And who's from the furthest away? We Cambridge. Cambridge. <laughs> it's Chachi Lopret right here, the vice president <laughs> in charge of private. I've told you so many times, stay out of the bathroom. You're always running late. Just when you thought Friday nights were going to get boring, <laughs> we're back. I'm Charles Lacquadera, and uh, this is your mother's on the roof. And tonight, our special guests are Big Barn Burning. Yeah. Big Barn Burning. Yeah. Now, we're going to have so, a lot of surprises, but first, it's time to play Michigas. Now, if you'd like to win some nice prizes, get on the phone right now, or as they say in Cambridge, get on the horn right now and call 769, that's 617 area code, 769-6950. Okay, call it right now. We'll take your calls and we'll put you on the air and uh, we'll make you famous. We'll make you into a star. Uh, if you see the words pre-recorded on your screen, like right, right above that, pre-recorded right there, then you can't call. Okay, because it means your program director is running at the wrong time. Um, but do ask your program director, if you're not watching this right now on a Friday night, you should be like wicked upset, unless you're from Boston. Uh, or Cambridge. Or Cambridge. We're going to take it easy. We'll get Boston and Cambridge on Friday night eventually, but right now you're on Saturday nights. So, uh, anyway, welcome to your mothers on the roof. And uh, let's see, do we have any volunteers? You. <laughs> get that woman up here. Get her up here. Sue. Bring her up here, Chachi. Her name is Sue, and she's from Northern Norton, Mass. Norton, Mass, my favorite town. Just be careful. people in the back road, Chachi. Give Sue that microphone, Chachi. Thank you very much. Sue, what's your last name? Put that mic right up here. Johnson. Johnson, Sue Johnson. Okay, Sue. You ready to play Michigan? I think so. Hello. Hi. Hi, you mind your mother's on the roof. Where are you from? Norwood. You're from Norwood? Yeah. Oh, is this your first time watching? No, I've watched it before. Have you called before? Yeah. Oh, I've talked to you before. Your name sounds familiar. Who are you? Joanne. <laughs> See, I said your face sounded good. <laughs> so, Joanne, you've called before, though. Yeah. So what did you win the last time? Oh, nothing. I just called to say hello. Oh, you did? You want to say hello again? Sure. Okay, say it. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. What do you do, Joanne? Huh? What do you do? Uh, I work at a restaurant. What restaurant? You could name it. The Second Cup. The second cup? Yeah. Is that? All right. <laughs> that's, a, uh, that's a coffee house, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I could tell. Second cup. It was either that? Good guess. Yeah. So where is that? Norwood? Yeah, right on Washington Street. Yep, yeah, right on Washington Street. Well, listen, thanks a lot for calling you in, okay? Welcome. Okay, have a good evening and a nice week. You and too. happy Christmas to you and holidays. Same to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay, so... Uh, you, you ready to play Michigas? Now, Sue, do you know what Michigas is? Put that mic right up next to your mouth. Yeah, I've heard it in the morning. You, you should keep it right up here. <laughs> I've heard it in the morning. You have? Yeah. Okay, well, this is just like the morning one, is, is, except the prizes here are better. <laughs> for example, let's see what we got here for prizes. Uh, a couch potato doll. Yeah. There it is. Right there. These are a hot item this year, Right. You can't for, buy them anymore. It's for anybody who sits around watching TV for life. It's, Couch potato. Also, a free hairstyle from Bruce Fisher, hair designer, Brain Tree. And a free record or tape from any good vibration store. So that'll be great. We get some great prizes. So uh, hopefully you'll call us right now at 769-6950. That's 769-6950. We want to play Michigas with you. And uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Sue. What do you do for a living? I'm a waitress at Where? the 99 restaurant on Route 1. The 99? On Route 1 and in Norwood? Walpole. Walpole? Yeah. And uh, how long have you been waitressing? I've been waitressing a while. I've been there three years, though. So how come you're not working tonight on a Friday night? I work today. You, oh, you work in the yeah. daytime? You like that better? Work in the daytime? I do both. Yeah? What else? Do you have another job? Do you I moonlight? I like my weekends to myself, though. <laughs> do you moonlight anything? No, I don't. You don't moonlight? She doesn't moonlight. Hello. Hi, Charles. Hi, who are you? Linda. Where are you from? Norwood? Yes. I could tell, Linda. How you doing? Are you Joanne's friend? Yes. You're both in the same house. We have one house watching us tonight, Jay. See? Who said no one's looking? <laughs> anyway, uh, you're in the same house as Joanne, huh? Who else is there? Uh, her husband, Bob. Hey, is Bob there? Yeah. So what's Bob doing? What are you guys doing with Bob? <laughs> what? Well, that's Joanne's husband. Who, Bob? Yeah. That, is that him that just said that? Yeah. 
No. It sounds like Joanne. If yeah, Bob's got a voice like Joanne, then you guys are all in trouble. <laughs> so does Joanne. Oh, okay, so what's going on? Nothing. I like to try and play that game. You want to play that game? Yeah. If you can say it, you can play it. Oh, it's Tracy's, uh, it's Tracy's uh, microphone. I she's in a bad mood today. Boy, it sounds like the crack. That, that's, that means Tracy can't communicate with us. That means we're on our own. Yeah. It's a, a free show. You're not on your own. Oh, it's the phone microphone. No we're producer. trying to fix it. There she uh, is. You can start it. Um, if can you can say it, you can play it. It's fixed. You can play Mr. the game Gass? now. Mr. Gass, you can play it. All right, tell me your name again. Linda. Linda. Okay, Linda, what's your last name? Daly. Linda Daly? Yeah. How often have you had that name? Oh, for two years. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you're gonna play Mr. Gas against. You're gonna play Mr. Gas against Sue of Norton. Okay. Ralph. <laughs> I get all these pictures when I hear these names in these towns. All right. So um, now you know how to play Mr. Gas. You don't know how to play, do you, Linda? A little, I think. Okay. What What we'll do is we'll give you some questions. Whoever gets the most questions right gets all the great prizes. Uh -huh. Now, Sue, you got to keep that mic up close to your mouth, okay? Because otherwise, we won't hear you answer, and you lose to Linda Daly, who's with two other people. Joanne and Bob. Joanne and Bob. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Did you guys ever hear of the group Big Barn Burning? No. Okay. Well, you're going to be meeting a great group coming up next. I don't know if. Um, uh, I don't know if they got all their instruments, though, but I, whatever it is, they, I think they're going to play a cappella tonight. We'll ask them. Okay. It's a, you know it's what acoustic. Are <laughs> <laughs> you were real close. Yeah. It's acoustic, it's, Trace? It's singing a cappella, and it's acoustic. Jeez, Trace, I didn't know that. Uh, just go ask the questions. <laughs> Tracy writes, just, she writes, Tracy's dyslexic, and I have nothing against dyslexic people, but can you get a Xerox, a Xerox can you get a close shot into this right here? Right here, this Cut word. This is Tracy's writing. See the words here? Big, burning, <laughs> burning. <laughs> see it? Hey, you try writing that all day, and you see how it comes out. I probably Let's it hear for Tracy. <laughs> Chase, you don't have any problem with words like mom. No. Right? They come out right no. in the how you do it, right? Yes. Okay, we're ready to play Mr. Gas. Okay, Linda, you still there? Yeah. Okay, um, here it is, you guys. First question, name the male rock star whose current album, Cloud Nine. Got it? Yeah. Current single, got my mind set on you. George Harrison. George Harrison! Okay, Linda. That's right, it was George Harrison, so Sue got it right. Sue from Norton. Okay. Now, are you going to be outwitted by someone from Norton, Massachusetts? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Don't give up so easy. Wait a minute, hold on. On the original Saturday Night Live, did you ever see that? Yeah. You ever watch them? Oh. Okay, who were those people that, uh, the name of the extraterrestrials that uh, featured in recurring skits, they, they kept coming? Okay. Conan, it's a tie score. All right, what happened? What happened, Sue? You never saw the Conan? Yeah, I saw the Conan. You weren't quick enough. You're no, getting it ready, okay. and you weren't looking at the paper no, close enough. No, I wasn't cheating it. All right, in what southern town was the Andy Griffith show? Mayberry. Mayberry, Mayberry you lost. Whoa. You lost. You didn't say it fast enough, Linda. You know what it is? Mayberry. It's too late. She oh. already got it. But <laughs> Linda, don't blame yourself. Don't forget, she's here and you're over there. And it takes sound a little while you used to travel. So by the time the question came to you, she'd already heard it. Okay. Okay, here it is. <laughs> who, who invented the photograph? All right, I'll make it easy. Who invented the phonograph? Edison. Oh, no. <laughs> who? Edison. Yeah. Ta first name? Thomas. Thomas Edison. <laughs> Don't feel bad, Linda Daly. You get a you get a free record or tape from any good vibrations, okay? And it's weird if you can listen to it every Friday night just before your mother's in the room comes on, okay? Right. Okay? All right, Merry Christmas. Stay. Okay, same to you. Happy Tell Linda home. to stay on the line. You stay please. on the line, okay, Linda? Okay, thank you. Okay, hold on. What a nice person. That was really nice. Okay, so you're a winner, Sue. So let's see what you get. You get a couch potato doll, the latest rave, and a free hairstyle from Bruce Fisher, hair designer Branchy. Take that with you and be careful walking over there. That was really great. Let's have a big round of applause now for, for Sue as she goes to her chair. Right. Woo! Okay, now uh, 
We're going to be right back with the, uh, with the group Big Barn Burning, but first, these words. WBCN coming up next, Tank on Sports. But first, here's traffic with Eli in Wicked Heart. And Charles. What, Carlos? Never mind. The Celtics rarely lose at the Garden. And I never lose when I wake up to Charles Laquadera. Carlos the computer thinks he's human. I am not a computer. I am a hero. And you're on the big matches. Early mornings on WBCN 104 FM. More music, more fun. Once upon a time... Ever since we joined the Children's Braille Book Club, Paul and Timmy have so much more to share. Every month, National Braille Press of Boston sends us a new book with both print and Braille text. And they lived happily ever after. Did you like that? Yeah. Someday I'll read these books to my children. To join the club or make a tax-deductible donation, contact National Braille Press in Boston or call 617-266-6160. They're, they're in Boston, but they're not a Boston band. They're not from Boston. They sound awful good. Big Barn Burning. Let's have a big round of applause.
Big Barn Burning. You uh, now, you fellows been playing together for uh, not too long, just about a year now. Just about a year. Where did, where did, did you? Where are you from? I'm from Lexington, Virginia, which yeah. is in the uh, it's in the Blue Ridge Mountains. In you really are from. So this is the, like mountain influenced music. Yes, right? very, very. Okay, and Matthew. I'm from the Casco Mountains of New York State, a little town called Pavine Center, New York. The Catskills. Right. Isn't that where they all they, they uh, play? No. no? <laughs> Pardon me. They play, <laughs> they play nine pins. Uh, that's Rumpel. That's Rumpel. Not Rumpel Stokes. You know, Rip Van Winkle. Right. But where, what about? But isn't that also the place where they uh, they have all those uh, nightclub acts all and stuff? Right? Downstate from us. Downstate. Yeah. We're we're kind of. And where you from? Uh, Northwestern Connecticut. Northwestern Connecticut. So you're the city boy. No, no, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the he's in the <laughs> Southern Berkshire. So yeah. what made you guys come to Boston? The weather. Oh, you love the weather. They love the weather. All right. Yeah. No. Do you like the weather here? Yeah. No, just different musical reasons, really. We, um, we, You're not going to school to Berkeley or anything? No, 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 no. Culture. Culture. Culture? Culture? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's why we came here, I guess. You know, no, musically, it's a very good place to be right now. Yeah. I mean, uh, obviously, there, there are not many places that are a whole lot better. I mean, the, the opportunities to play out are a lot, and there are a lot are of people. Are you playing gigs live anywhere? Playing a lot, actually. Yeah, we played. We're playing six times this month all together. You played TT the Bears this this year, and yeah. uh, we played backed the, up uh, Scruffy the Cat. Yeah, the Neats. Played with them. Played with the Neats. Played yeah. with a lot of bands. They're like in the that. BCN Rock and Roll Rumble. Maybe you could do that next year. Well, we we'd love to do it. Is it now? Do you have your complete uh, group with you? I mean, everything mm. with you? Everything you? Yeah, well, usually we have a, a whole drum kit, electric guitar. I mean, this okay. is just our reduced, this is our studio version. Okay, so what we're hearing is not only a little bit bluegrassy, but it's also a lot acoustic -y. I mean, there's no, you're not electronically hooked up anywhere. Yeah. Well, so, we really you're you doing the shows? Do you, um, but, but in the shows, do you also do some rock? Yeah, we're, we're definitely a lot more rocking. You are. Because but you don't have any product, anything we can play? Do you have well, anything? sure, we have, we have a cassette, a three-song cassette tape. We brought along. Trace, any way we can get to listen to the cassette, maybe uh, at the end of the show? Um... Yeah, we can do that. We brought it when along. When we close. Right. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we yeah, we'll put it on. Maybe we, maybe you guys can sort of play along with it. You can play over your, like, overdub the cassette. Okay. All right, so you can be playing, and it'll be like. Dave, Albert, Albert even played it once. Albert O played it? Yeah. Oh. Late night. Albert O uh, does uh, overnights on WBCN, yeah, and uh, he plays. He's, he played uh, that charge. song, Brand New Day, which he's you in just charge heard. Local, local music. Brand New Day, the song we just heard. Was, uh, was played mm -hmm. a couple times. Now, that was also played on AAF, and what's the song? Cora de Bois? Courier de Bois. Matt will tell you about Courier. that. Courier. What is that, Matt? Well, roughly translated, means the runners in the woods. It's kind of uh, about my grandmother you know, and the my heritage, my French Canadian heritage. French Canadian, like, uh, uh, let's see, French Canadian, like Zydeco type stuff? Are we going down? or Which way are we going here? Are we going well, up to Arcad Arcadia? Or are we going down to? Well, actually, it's southern Quebec. Southern but Quebec. But it's farmlands of southern Quebec. And uh -huh. it's, it's more influenced by British Isles folk, folk music, really, the song itself, uh -huh. but the lyrical content. Well, you guys either are going to start something new, uh, you know, maybe, what, maybe it goes around again, you know, <laughs> but like when I, when I first started doing radio, um, the stuff that you were doing was really, really popular. I mean, wicked popular. There was like, uh, there was all these groups, uh, uh, Father and Gay, and uh, uh, huh? Sandy Denny's group. Yeah. She also had another group too. I forget what what the Fairport, name of it. Yeah, Fairport Convention. Uh, God. We do a, a lot of folk and country and Pentangle. Do you remember some of those groups? I mean, do you know, guys know about all those groups? Yeah. yeah. Steel Ice Band. Wow. So those are a lot of your influences? It, yeah, definitely so. And, and of course, punk has come since then. So we're also influenced by that, you know, the energy. I mean, we definitely yeah. have a rock and roll. When you see us when do live, I get the pump? When do I hear the punk stuff? Well, when you, you have to come see us I live have to see I have to yeah. see the electronic I mean, stuff. We're, we're much more, we're, I mean, it's difficult to be completely wild when you're trying to stand in front of yeah. a microphone and, and really. not knock over the, the sign. I just whatever. wish the hell you had a video, because I'd love to see what you guys, what else you can do. I just well, see us. Huh? <laughs> um, well, why don't you tell us when in uh, in '88 you guys are going to be playing? Like, what? Do you have any uh, any kind of an itinerary for '88? Um, unfortunately, we're probably going to be playing out of town mostly in January. Uh -huh. um, we're playing, like I said, a lot this month, but we don't have anything immediately lined up for January. But we'll definitely be playing at the Rat or at TT the Bears or, or Green Street or one of the local clubs on a weekend night. So just mm -hmm. look out for us. Can you play? Uh, can, can you do that song uh, about the the courier? Do you want? 
Yeah, go We're going to do it next. You're going to do that next? Why don't you do that now? And if you, if you would, everybody, give us a call, 769-6950. Give us a call, and maybe you can talk to the band, or maybe we can talk about last week's, uh, the last time's band that we had last. What, 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 who do we have two weeks ago, Trace? Enoch. Enoch? Can you hear me? Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> it took you a while, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do this. Uh, we'll do this. Uh, why don't you, you guys do this in hope? Who? Linda's here tonight. Oh, Linda's here. Let me tell you something about Chachi, okay? Linda's boyfriend is running that camera. Notice how that camera's going wild. It's because he's going over to protect her now. But Linda, Linda, Chachi's in love with can Linda. Can I just have a minute? He's decent. With Linda? All right. Can, we, can you guys, you want some kind of background music? Well, Chachi, you going to do this a cappella? No, I just, I just want to say something to Linda. You want to say something to Linda? To Linda. Linda. I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. And if we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. Then afterwards, we'll stop into a quiet little place and have a drink or two. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like, you get a piece of food right there. You know, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that girl. Courier du, du bois, which, which means rolling in the fields with, <laughs> with uh, Linda. What is it? <laughs> the phone. The phone's all it. The phone's always take precedence. Hello. Hello, you and your mother's in the roof. Hello? Now, now, this is Kate's first night on the phone in her third transfer. I'll go assist her and we'll try it again. Okay, Kate. But they can play first and we'll send them through after. Okay. Oh, darn. Hello? I got it! Yeah! Now, now, she's a Hi, what's your name? My name's Doug Campbell. Where are you from, Mr. Campbell? Uh, from Norwood. Norwood! Yay! That's a great town. It's my favorite town. So, Doug, what are you doing? You watching? Uh, you watching your mother's on the roof? How long have you been doing that? Well, I thought Norton was your favorite town. It is my favorite town. What is, where are you from? Norwood. Oh, I hate your town. No, I'm just kidding. That's where we are. No, this is Norwood. What do you do? I am watching your mother's on the roof. What? I am watching your mother's on the roof. And what's your name again? Uh, Doug Campbell. Doug. What? Uh, what do you do for a living, Doug? Uh, I'm a freelance artist. You are? Where'd you go to school? Uh, Ohio State University. Really? I went to RISD. Did you really? Yep. I went to RISD. You believe it? Uh, sure I do. I'll show you. Ready? Okay. Now, Doug, if you could tell me what this is, right, we'll give you a prize, because we have a lot of extra prizes, because nobody's calling tonight. Oh, okay. Go ahead. All right, ready? And not that. This. Oh, you know, I can't see the TV. You will. You can. Why? Because <laughs> I'm in a room where I, cause my phone's not uh, close enough to the TV, but I've got someone here that might be able to tell me what All right, I'll describe it. Ghostbuster something. It's what? The Ghostbuster what? Ghostbuster ghost. Okay, we're going to zoom in on it just a second here. Over to my camera. Okay, over to Ross's camera. Okay, go ahead. Tell us what this is. Okay, I'm waiting for the relay. You can see him on the Flintstones every Saturday. Oh, you know, what is it? Uh, it's a schmoo. <laughs> you know, I would have That sounds like Little Abner, actually. Well, yeah, Little Abner had him a long time ago. Yeah, yeah but I didn't think you were that old. Oh, well, no, I'm not, but uh, I follow a little... So, up. you're a freelance artist, that means you work out of your home? Yeah, I sure do. Mm. Okay, is this the first time you've ever seen your mothers on the roof? No, I've seen it a few times. I, the reason I called was because of Big Barn Burning, because I've seen them before. Where? Uh, I've seen the Bears, and uh, actually, twice I saw them accidentally, because I didn't know who they were, but I saw them at Tee the Bears, and I think a place called Green Street something. I'm sorry, the last part? Green Street something. Green Street? Station. Green Street Station? Yeah. Oh, t so what do they sound like live? They're, uh, they're really hot. They're just, it, it, it was just kind of weird to listen to them there because... Uh, it's acoustic -y and... Yeah, because they're, re they're really like kind of hot. They're not... Uh, they're wimpy tonight. Well, they're not wimpy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think they're going to try to make up for that right now. Okay, they're really fun to watch. I mean, yeah. Okay, maybe we'll just give them more floor space the next song. Maybe we'll just back off a little bit. We'll let Matthew and Matthew just jump around a little bit. Okay. Okay, Peter, you got to stay still because you got the drums. Okay, you're a tambourine man. All right. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Doug. Okay. See ya.
Okay, let's do it. We've been waiting to see it, hear it. Now let's hear it. Courier du Bois. His name is uh, Big Barn Burning. Uh, Tracy wrote over here, Big Band Burning. <laughs> just kidding, Tracy. It's OK. It just keeps me on my toes here. But uh, the, uh, you guys also ought to know that the, the fellow doing the directing here, Eric Bickernix, is is, has a band himself. And you guys are getting some great shots. When you see the videos of what we've done, I mean, you look really good. The, the cutaways he's doing. That's so, the swirl thing. Yeah. So I don't know how it's, how it's coming across on TV. It sounds good in here. Hopefully but it I know it visually, it looks great. It looks great. So great. Eric's doing a great job. Yeah. Now, do you uh, who, do you have any plans for a video? Are we going to ever see a music video? Um, you know, we're we're working on the record first. Yeah. Um, and right now, that's uh, that's in in the plans for early this this year, '88. That is. Yeah, do you have a label? Sorry. No, not presently. That's uh, that's also in the works. We're we're going to either. Well, well, you know, we want someone else to pay for the record. Obviously, we we need a label right now. Yeah. Basically, and there are. Several things in the wings, but uh, even if that doesn't work out, we're just going to have to do it by ourselves. I guess so. Uh, one of the ways to get a label, besides getting radio airplay, is to, uh, you know, is to, uh, is to be playing a lot of live gigs. Yeah. Well, that's definitely. Well, we we did went, we did we went on tour actually. With we, whom? Uh, ourselves, essentially. Our van. Our van. Us and our van. Our deteriorating van. You still have your van? Yep. It's still it's right out there in the parking lot. Hopefully. What's it look like? Uh, we have all like, a couple like colors. grass on it and stuff and hills. Hey, Bale. A couple cows on top. Cows on the cover. Okay, nope. we're going to be back in uh, just a few minutes with Big Bar and Burning. Plus, uh, uh, we, wanna, we want you people out there to call 769-6950. And uh, we'll be right back. Let's get to this gentleman is making a very positive impression. How does he do it? Simple. He gets quality clothing and personal service from Natalie's of Braintree. If you want to look good and feel good in clothes, let Natalie take care of you. Buongiorno. My name is Natale Agostino. If you're looking for the best in men's clothing, please visit my store in Braintree. Thank you.
The tallies for the finest of men's clothing at 393 Washington Street, Braintree. Call 843-4920. Investigative reporter, Geraldo Laquavera on WBCN. Today we're going to find out why other stations won't run ads for condos. As soon as I spy the morning light, I say, I toss the typewriter to listen to Charles Laquavera. Hello, Rangoon. Joining us, Glasscock here, taking over for Charles Lachendora. Sure, Dwayne. And you're on the big mattress, early mornings on WBCN. More music, more fun. She actually asked me to kill myself with her. I told her she'd better get some help. She was always saying nothing mattered to her anymore. I thought she'd get over it, whatever it was. She talked about dying a lot, so I told her parents. They said she was just a moody kid. Waiting for me? No, I'm just putzing around. All right, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Okay. What is uh? We want to take the 14th call. So call us at 769. 6950, the 14th call to get through. We'll also get uh, two unlimited lift tickets to Wachusett Mountain Ski Area in Princeton, Mass. I don't know what an unlimited What does that mean? Unlimited. You can uh, go up and down. All... You don't have to ski. Well, I don't have to ski for that. <laughs> yeah? Any slope on the hill, you can keep going up and down at any time you want. It... Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, so call 769 14th call will get. Two unlimited lift tickets to watch Houston Mountain Ski Area in Princeton, Listen Mass. Listen to those calls. And uh, we're going <laughs> to... So we're counting the calls off right now. So call 769-6950. I want to go out in the, uh, in the audience, and I want to see... Chachi, why don't you take that mic? Let's okay. meet some of these people Let's here. Let's meet some of these Let's people. Let's meet Jack, first of all, from Randolph. Jake. <laughs> Jake. Jake? Yeah. Jake, uh, you're from Randolph. What do you do? I have my own floor covering business. I can tell. Look at his... Get a close-up of his hand. He, uh, <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, what happened? You had a, a work accident, industrial accident? Over time, yeah. Over time you do? Just wore down. Just out, you just keep, that you just keep working on floors and it just keeps wearing down so you yeah. have to wear that? Yeah, for the time being. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the name of your company? James Leary Installations Unlimited. And where are you? Oh, that's unlimited. Yep. That means he can go up and down as much as he wants. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and uh, you have a partner? Uh, no, I'm in this by myself. What have you bought out, Leary? Excuse me? What's the name of the company again? James Leary Installations. You brought, you're, you're la your name is Jake. Jake Leary. Do you buy, was the, is James your dad? or your dad's No, that's my real name. So, Oh, I see. This is so I can't get in trouble. Oh, I see. This is a studio name. <laughs> yeah. This is Hollywood name. Hollywood name. Okay, and who's dad next here? I'm married. You're married? So what? No, I didn't ask you how you are married. No, I'm not married. <laughs> you're not married. What's your name? Mary. Mary what? Mary Hayward. From where? Westwood. Hello. Oh. Westwood, you're from L.A. originally? No. Oh, Little Falls. <laughs> Little Falls, New York. Oh, you're from New York? Yeah, upstate New York. What do you do? Are you with Jake? No. Hey, two of you, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you do? Jake's here all along. I got Nobody's sucked into Jake. it. I didn't even know what was going on tonight. They said, come on over. So I they said, come on over. down. You thought you were going to get a used car? We thought he was going to watch The Grinch on TV, but we probably <laughs> You know, I got all excited. Uh, <laughs> okay, you want to move down the yeah, line, Chuck? And but Charles asks the questions. I just hold them. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Lori. Lori from Westwood. West Roxbury. West Roxbury. All right. Yeah. A lot of police in your town. They live there. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they do. They live there and they make sure that no one goes more than ten miles an hour. Exactly. To that town. Oh. Oh. Town pizza. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Hi. This is Linda from Norwood. Hi, Linda. Did we, were you with um, the other two women in that room? No, no, they asked if I called earlier, but this is the first time. You're not Linda, and you're not with uh, Linda and uh, and uh, Bob and the other person? No, no, just Linda alone. <laughs> Linda alone, what, what town do you live in? Norwood. 
And your last name was alone? No. <laughs> Linda and I'm not with anybody else. Why not? Well, I am. I'm with my family, but I'm not with my... How many family. people in your family, Linda? I have three brothers, and my mother and father. Are they all watching TV? Uh, my mother's watching, and my little brother's watching. Yeah, how old's your little brother? He's 18. 18? Yes. Hey, what, listen to your sister. Go ahead. Hi, Greg. Hi, Mom. Now, if you go behind the TV, you'll be able to see yourself. I will? Yeah. You can crawl, <laughs> crawl around behind the TV, and you'll get to see yourself. Okay, I'll go now. Okay. So, uh, what do you do, Linda? I'm a registered nurse. Where? At Newton Wellesley Hospital. Oh, that's my favorite hospital. Is it real? I, try, I, I love to go there when oh, I'm well, down. If you're ever sick, I hope you're not, but come to my floor, 4,000. Four, four, fourth floor? Fourth floor, yes. Okay, now are you uh, are you the head nurse? No, I'm not the head nurse. <laughs> um, okay, now what, uh, so what are your hours, nights or days? I work days. Yeah, days? Yes. All right, well, if I get sick, I'll make sure it's during the day. Oh, of course. Well, listen, thanks for calling. Is this your first time watching your mother's on the roof? Yes, it is. What do you think? I think it's great. For a local show, it's not bad, huh? No, it's really good. You know, we're seen all over, everywhere. In fact, we're seen in so many towns now, Linda, that I can't even, I'm not even allowed to announce them anymore. I used to announce them at the beginning of the show. Oh, wow. It's over 40. Over 40? Over 40 in three states. Over 40 in three states. You think, uh, you think I could maybe get paid after a while, Trace? No. That's right. Sorry. I don't care. Ask Linda what number caller she is. Linda, what number caller are you? Number 14. All right! And that's why you don't get paid, Charles. Okay, now, Linda, you know what you get? I get two free unlimited ski passes. Lift tickets. Why, are you a skier? Well, my brothers are and my dad. They're not transferable. They're not. Yes, well, they are. Going, uh, yes, yes, we'll let you have them. You'll let them give it to We'll let you well, give them to you. I'll go, and I'll have to bring one of them with Yeah, you. okay. Well, thanks for calling. Okay, I'm going to keep you on hold. Don't go away. Okay, thanks. Okay. Bye now. That's great. Okay, so she wins tickets. Now, uh... I have a relative. You have a relative in the audience tonight, Chachi? Yeah, Chachi's? he's wearing the silliest boots I ever saw. Can we get a camera on his boots? Come right over here. <laughs> like there's a lot of snow in Boston. Those are the boots you wear when you go inside those things that when you go to a carnival, the moon, the, the moon oh, thing, a no, moonwalk. I wear walk. them all the time. I don't have to go into a moonwalk. You wear them all the time? Sure. They're comfortable, they're warm. They're How are you related to Chachi? What's your name? My name's Charles Loring. Charles. So what happened? You just, you just like, uh, you've been Chachi's relative all your life and you just started getting to know him after he got on TV? No, as a matter of fact, uh, <laughs> he used to come over to our house in Concord when my parents had these big Italian bashes. And he used to like... mooch food, right? <laughs> yeah, me to too. Food. We'd mooch together yeah. and then we'd uh, take off. <laughs> and who's that next to you over in the dark corner? This is my roommate, Brian. How you doing, Brian? What's your last name, dude? Serret. Huh? Serret. Brian Serret? Yeah, it's a German name. Where are you guys from? Air. Air Mass. You're from Air? Roommate. Okay, well, let Chuck plug his band. He's in All right, go ahead. Plug your band, Chuck. Well, I'm in a band called The Bars. Uh, we've been together for about nine months. We opened for Foghat in Maine on the 1st of May. Uh -huh. We'll be playing for the uh, MMA, that's the Modified Motorcycle Association, on the 19th of December, <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> in Framingham. And uh, come on down. It's going to be a Christmas party, and it'll be a blast. Gee, I'm, I'm sorry I got you into that, Chuck. So. Boy, <laughs> relatives, aren't they? Okay, we're going to watch. Is this the uh, Roger? Roger Clemens thing, Trace? Say that again. Are we going to watch the Roger Clemens thing? That's right. Can I set it up? Go right ahead, Charles. That's what you're getting paid for. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're not getting paid for. Um, Roger Clemens calls WBC, and he used to all during Red Sox season. He does every year during baseball season. And uh, we got to talking, and uh, uh, when Roger was ahead one game against the Yankees, six to nothing, and somehow he managed to lose the game. I really get on his case wicked bad. I told him, I said, Roger, you're really losing it, man. There's no way you're ever going to get it back. Six to nothing, you had a lead. You used to be able to hold on to a, a, a one-run lead, you know? And I was goofing on him about that. So uh, I told him that I could probably even hit off on myself. Anyway, why don't we just uh, document that? We'll show you. We have that uh, visually documented. We'll show you that right now. Yeah. WBCM Ballbusters had another great game last night. Tom Sandman, their manager led them to a victory 18-9 against the folks out at Millbrook. He also, last night, the Sox won behind the powerful pitching once again, a rocket man, Roger Clemens. He struck out 12 last Take. night. What? Take, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you know something, yeah, Dan? you don't mean to. I, I saw the game last night. Yeah? 
Now, it seems to me like Clemens has lost a lot of the speed that he had last year. <laughs> Hank, I'm serious. He's not as fast as he was. I mean, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what. I think that Roger Clemens has slowed down so much that even I could get a hit off. Oh, him. sorry, Charles, but you don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm telling you. Hey, come on. He's still got a good, hard fastball. And I guarantee that if, and I say, if you could ever stand up there at the plate against him, he'd probably just about knock your head off. You are nuts, Tim. I'm not nuts. I know Tim, what I'm talking Tim, about. My kid brother could oh, hit Come on. Once. He doesn't His have His fastball's it. 100 miles an hour. Your eyesight is 40 miles an hour. He's right here beside me. You want to? Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Charles, it's for you. It's Clemens. Oh, thanks. Hi, Raj. What's happening? Yeah, I said that, and I'll stand behind it. What? Look, Roger, if you weren't so scared of your reputation, you'd meet me at Fenway and you'd let me slug a few off of you. Come on, don't give me the excuses of... Look, just meet me there tomorrow at Fenway Park and I'll prove to you that I can hit off you. And no excuses about liability. I mean, those, that doesn't carry any weight, okay? It's just like a red herring. You don't know what that means. You're from Texas. Look, well, you better stick to cow tipping, dude, because I'm going to slam that ball right over the left field... I'll see you there. Okay, Wimp. Right here. Right there, okay? Just get it here. Give me everything. Give me that inside high ball, the one that uh, you got 22 strikeouts with. I don't know, Charles. I'll tell you, I, I've been wild lately. My last few starts have been wild. Will you throw that ball? Come on! All right, hey, I, I throw 95 miles an hour. I almost took some guy's head right off in that 20 strikeout game. Just get it in here. Just come on. Let's go. Give me your best. Your best shot. Oh, look out! Oh. 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 Call my lawyer. <laughs> ah, I lost my head, Chachi. Now, I got two extra glasses of water. Now, this is a big budget show. So who do we give the water to? A chew! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chachi. Thank you. <laughs> All right, um... Uh, <laughs> the red lights are on everywhere. Which camera? Okay, sorry. We're back to professional television right now. Your mother's on the roof. Charles Laquadera, my pal Chachi Lopret, vice president in charge of prize at WBCN, and a wonderful Yay! studio audience. Yay! And a, a, a great group called Big Barn Burning. Big Barn BBB. You're going to be hearing a lot about yeah! Okay, you guys, I know you don't have your electricity plugged in, but I want you to kick some ass now, okay? Yeah, go for it. Right now, I'm sick of it. I want to hear it. I want you to go for it now. Can I just hear a little badoom? So I said to my girl with the wooden leg, Peg, how do you hold up your nylons? No, I, this morning I said to my wife, my kids are spoiled. She says, all kids smell that way. <laughs> Okay, guys, see if you can follow that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, go. Ha! City of the hills I found.
city of the hills, I found you. City of the hills, city of the hills, I found you. <laughs> city of the hills, city of the hills, I found you. City of the hills, city of the hills, I found you. City of the Not bad considering the space limitations. These guys really want to move around. There's no place to go except into a black curtain. And who knows what's on the other side of that curtain except the Coke machine that doesn't work. Anyway, uh, if you're just tuned in, you're watching Your Mother's on the Roof. My name is Charles Laquadera. I'm with the band Big Barn Burning. And uh, none of them are from around here. They're not, uh, not yet they're calling themselves a Boston band. But uh, if you guys stay here long enough, you got I me. Mean, yeah. What are you going to do? You got to put something on the back of the liner notes, right? We'll live in the so, dumpster behind the rat or something say, like Excuse that. me? We'll live out in the dumpster behind the rat. You live a, right. <laughs> oh, you live with the rats out behind the dumpster here. We get uh, next week, I'm not sure who, who, who we got uh, coming up in two weeks. Do we say, are we going to get Bim Scalabim or something, Trace? Uh, no, I'm, I'm, not, uh -oh. I'm not quite sure, but we have... Um... Uh, uh, listen, can I ask you a favor? What? My brother's kid has a band. Can I bring him on here? You can't do that. Yeah. I can't, we're not paying them. Yeah. Your That's, brother's kid has a band? Yeah, my nephew. Yeah. yeah. Well, how, Steven, how easy. Eric huh? has a band, too. We'll see. Tell him to send. I'll talk to you about it later. Well, send it to me. It's my brother's kid's band. Yeah. He doesn't have to send me a table. Yeah. Gonna... You can bring them on. Can I? Uh, but not if they're from Milford. <laughs> well, of course they're from Milford. I'm only kidding. Um, well, now, now a, mo a lot of you have seen the show before the holidays, and some of you are going to be seeing the show after the holidays. But in either case, if you're about to see the show, I mean, if you're watching the show and the holidays are about to come, happy holidays. And if the holidays are over, hopefully you're having a great 1988. In the meantime, um, we get, we're going to be playing one more song uh, with Big Barn Burning. And Tracy, is there some other stuff I can talk about before we, uh, we break here? You still have some more people to meet in the audience. Can you put any screen. phone calls? Can we put any phone calls through from like other towns besides Norwood and Westwood? Sure, did, if they call. Did you show Kate how to use that? Uh, <laughs> did you show Kate how to use the long distance number? Yeah, we'll put, put the, the number. We'll the put the phone number up. What about Milford? I can't believe it. Isn't isn't this going into Milford? Yes, it's in Milford. Nah. Maybe they don't like you anymore. What's going on with Milford? If you're in Milford, call us. I know it's a one, but Tracy will pay for it. Just call Collect. <laughs> Seven <laughs> six nine. Are you kidding me? Six, still. She's still yelling at me for taking the chuckles that I didn't pay for. Oh, her. you guys, serious? You got the chuckles? See, Tracy, I didn't pay for these. Well, I took them right out of her up. You're losing that snack machine because you don't pay. You're, it's the honor system. Can I have the black one, Chatch? Sure. Oh, great. Okay. All Anyone right. want to chuckle in the audience? Everyone. Chuckle time. We've we'll been chuckling all night. Chuckle. Can you catch it? It's fine. Um, let's talk to Steve from Norwich. Steve, get up here. Steve, stand right up. Steve, how you doing? We have a P this show's rated PG-13, so I'm not sure <laughs> Steve can hang out. I'm 14. You're 14? All right, Steve, you can stay. What do you do? What, you're in sophomore? What? No, I'm a freshman. The freshman where? Norwood High? No, Norwood Junior High self. Wait a minute. Did you stay back so, a whole bunch of years, Steve? Grade? No, the ninth grade is at the junior high. Oh, ninth grade is at the junior high? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't plan on <laughs> So, uh, you like the Patriots or you play football or you just like to watch the Patriots? Uh, I just watch them. I don't like them or anything. But you don't? Awesome. You don't like the team? No, uh, they stink. You got a free, t you got a free T-shirt, right? What? No. I, I got this. Well, who got? Where'd you get it? Uh, I just got it. I don't want it, but you paid it. for it. No, someone paid me to wear it to me. Someone paid you to wear it? Yeah. Why don't you take it off? Yeah, great. Right, uh, I, I got my birthday suit. Take it off. No, is that sanitary? Is that take the shirt room? off if you don't like it. The kid sitting beside take me with the shirt. Yeah. Go ahead. Take the shirt off. <laughs> You don't like the shirt? Pull it off. There are lots of people that would love that shirt. I would love that Patriot shirt. Would you love that shirt? Sure, go ahead. No, no, wait a minute. Don't do that to the poor kid. I really, I really dislike that shirt. I think we should move on. Oh. <laughs> Chachi, you take yours off and trade a spinal tap. All right, Chachi, go for it. Let's go, Chachi. Come on. Go ahead. Go ahead, get up there. <laughs> get up there, Chachi. Get up there. I ain't doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I will not 
to take off my shirt. It's a chat team. The phone! The phone! Quiet, please. It's Chip and Nails, Chachi, for you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you're on your mother's on the roof, don't swear. Hello. All right, I know how I did it last time. Don't go away, I know how they did it. You go like this, and you go, Hello. Hello. See? Hey! Hello, you're on your mother's on the roof, don't swear. Where are you from? Don't, don't swear, Charles. How are you? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Norwood. Yay! Yay! We haven't had any calls from Norwood in... in about two minutes. <laughs> minutes. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> He's having a great time. Uh, <laughs> you got, is, what is it, sense of me tops? We know the guy's brother in the back. You know the guy's brother where? His brother. He owns the club in Milford. He owns the club in Milford. You, oh, you know my brother, Pat? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he, well, he owned doubles, but he, he dumped it. Oh, did he? He went belly up. Was the What's your name? Smoke his nights, right? <laughs> Paul Della Russo. Paul Della Russo? Yeah. And who's the guy in the background with the big mouth? Russo moving. <laughs> who's the guy in the background? No, uh, that's a buddy. A buddy? Yeah. What's his name? Charlie. Charlie! Hey, hey Charlie, behave. You yeah, got any... No, he's you, not... He's what are you guys, not, pounding beers? Yeah, no, he's not swimming. Don't worry about it. No, hey, I know uh, that. Right. What's, the, what's going on now? Tell not much. Guy, we tell have this the... guy with the Patriot shirt, right? Tell him, I agree with him. They do stink. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're a Raiders man? How they doing this year? Oh, they're not doing that good. <laughs> no, really. But they're coming around. Yeah, really. Just like the Patriots. Okay, man. Thanks for coming, Paul. Yeah, goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> well, that's nice. Okay. Uh, coming up to uh, the end of the hour. Now, listen, again, if you're program director, it, if you're not watching the show at, at uh, between 8 and 9... Cut it, are we? Uh, you're distracting me. <laughs> If you're not watching the show between uh, 8 and 9, you might want to write to your program director, 8 and 9 on a Friday night. Write to your program director and say, hey, your mother's in the roof is supposed to be on Friday night, 8 to 9. Then we'll be able to take calls, 769-6950, unless it says pre-recorded. See it right there? So let's take one more call if we can. Six. Got to oh. wait for it to ring. Oh, it has to ring first? Yeah. Oh, just like it does but at home? There are still some people over by the door that you haven't met yet. All right, everybody, call 617 Where did you guys, where'd you come from? How far away did you come from? Waltham. Waltham, what's your name? Kevin Lawrence. Bring his mic over to Kevin. Let's meet Kevin. Kevin's a big dude. Hey, Kevin, did you, uh, were you one of the replacement players? What's that? Were you one of the replacement players, man? No, I'm just trying to replace this cat here. You're trying to replace <laughs> him? He's with my cousin. Oh, he's with your cousin? Oh, that's why Tracy wanted to meet him. Tracy Tracy's wanted to meet him? Tracy's husband's on camera. The hello, you want hello, you want your mother's on the roof. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Oh, uh, well, I'm a I'm a new resident of Norwood and I just I was flipping my channels and I turned this thing on and you guys are being really weird. Is this just yeah. a camera? Yeah. Oh, just up here, I can't see my television. Okay, what, what, what did you ask me? I said, is this just for kids or what? Yeah, it's just for children. Well, how old are you? Much too old. No, you can watch yeah. it. I'll tell you what. Uh, what do you want to hear? Something from the 50s? The 40s? The tr the Excuse me. The 60s. Uh, that's good. 60s is good. What's your name? Your first name? Barbara. Hi, Barbara. How long have you lived in Norwood? Um, since April. Where did you come from? Newton. Newton to Norwood. That's a step up and that's a step in the right direction. I say so. Yeah. So, um, so are you but married? I, I, uh, well, um, I originally came from Norwood. I mean, I was born and brought up here. Oh, so this is, oh, this is, it's you're like coming, coming back, home, coming you know? back to your roots. Yeah, right. right. So what do you think of the show? It's kind of weird. Does it look, Im well, does it I look immature? Know. No, no, no. No, I think it's great. You like the it's show? It's too bad my kids are too old to enjoy it. I hear crickets. I hear crickets. You know what they do all the time? What's your name, Barbara? Yes. You know what they do, Barbara? Whenever my, my show gets boring, they play crickets. I can't imagine. It. Are you saying it's boring because I called? No, no, no. No, no. 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 Yes. We're glad we, you called. We're glad you called, Barbara. You're the only person that called tonight, except the, the other three calls were pre-recorded announcements. Well, I, I don't live in Milford, but what can I say? Yeah, really. So where do you work? I can't tell you that. Are you are you a policewoman? No. Are you, you work More for important the, than that. You work for the CIA? Uh, not that important. No. She, she's no. a school teacher. You're a school teacher? No. Are you really? No. Are you not? Are you? No. Uh, just tell me something. Like, can we, we do twenty questions? Okay. Is your job related? Do you have to work with other people? 
Oh yes. Okay. Do you uh, do you have a boss? Um. Ultimately, yes. And uh, is your boss in the same vicinity as you are when you're working? No. Uh, do you work with phones? Y yes. Uh, do, uh, do you have to type for your job? Do I have to? No. No, you don't. Uh, do you have people working under you? Yes. All right, Charles, um, can we flip the cards over and let, let her tell us where she works? She's what? not, not going to tell us where I she think she works at Polaroid. She's from <laughs> Waltham. No, 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 no. Everyone in Waltham works at Polaroid. Think green. Think green? The lottery. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Wait, money. You work yeah. at a bank? Yes. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, well, we won't push it and ask you what bank you work at, Good. but, but uh, thank you very, very much, Barbara, for calling, okay? okay? Call us again next time. Let us know what you think of the show. Okay, fine. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Listen, if you call earlier, you can play Michigan. Excuse me? If you call earlier, you could win prizes. Uh, oh, gee. All right? Well. Give us a chance. We get a lot of great prizes here. You could have won $10,000 if you called a little bit earlier. Okay? Yeah, right. I don't believe you. Okay, thanks a lot, Barbara. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Yay! Big Barn Burning, thank you very much. Don't forget, watch the Larry Glick Show Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. on most of these uh, cable connection network affiliated systems. And until we next meet, have a good evening. Join us again for your mothers on the roof. I'm <coughs> Charles Lacudera, and this is Big Barn Burning. Thank you again for watching. Thank you, Chachi. Thank you all. You're all wonderful. Thank you, Tracy. Eric Bickernicks, everybody. Oh,